All right, so I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> okay, I'm now back in the game. All oh, right. okay. Cool, so it's all set. Um, so I have been playing various missions, but you had mentioned to me before that you thought it might be fun to three-mark a tank, and I can't remember what tank that was. It was a light tank, if I don't... T-37, maybe? It might have been maybe? a T... Like an American light off the yeah. top of my head. Yeah, I think it was a T-37 or T-41. It would have either been the Tier 6 or the Tier 5. Because, let me, I just have to look at your stats. Give me a okay, little... it's, the, it's the Chaffee or the, uh, yeah, the Chaffee or the T-37. Yeah, the Chaffee, I mean, you have a great, you probably have a really good crew in your Chaffee. I would say, why don't we work on, like, marking your Chaffee? Because you have 600 games in it. Yeah, so I have, I have 600 games in it. And I've got a 55% win rate, but I have a horrible crew. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, my crew has no skills. What happened? Okay. I guess you moved it forward. I think I did. I think I moved him up to the T-49. Okay. Um, I mean, if you'd be down, I think the Chaffee is probably... Like, the thing about low tiers is they aren't necessarily representative of high tiers. But we can definitely, you know, like working on timing and things that the Chaffee require you to be good at is actually like a decent place to learn. So it's not like you're playing a KV-1S, which is not similar to, you know, right. tier well, 10 tanks at all. Yeah, but the I, th I, I, I think the principles in the Chaffee at five to seven, especially when you get into seven, it's getting pretty close to the principles of, of light tanks in higher tiers. Exactly, because the Chaffee's not a scout. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not a scout, right. Right. It's a breakthrough so, tank. Yeah. What I can do is I can get a Chaffee as well. If you, like, give me a sec. And we sure. could play that for a bit. Like, okay. we don't have to play our whole session in the Chaffee. Okay. Um, but it'd be fun to just kind of... Let me just yeah. myself one. Okay. It'd be cool to have, like, a goal to work towards. Because that's measurable progress. And we can, like... Yeah, I've got, a wa I've got one mark on it right now. Right, exactly. And so even two marking it would make me, like thrilled i'm all for it i think the chaffee's a great tank yeah that's yeah it's like super it's basically a super fast medium as far as i can yeah i i agree with that so and when we get into this once you get one let's mm -hmm. talk about what um equipment this thing should have because i may have the wrong equipment on it yeah so i'm purchasing one right now without a crew so we can build the whole thing. So my first question, once, give me a sec. Sure. This might make a really good video if I do yeah. two marking the chaffee as a as a as a series of videos where we say, okay, so here's what we got and here's where we're gonna take it. That might be really fun. That's what I was kind of thinking too. Like it would definitely work with. Yeah. The fact that you're recording it. And I'll I'll record so give me a sec and I'll mm -hmm. set up OBS and we can record this on my YouTube channel too if it goes well. Sure. Alright. And I think we should be pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I think the because you're like how do I introduce this? I have to introduce this because I'm recording. Okay. All right, so I've introduced it. Um, my first question would be, like, what's what are you running for equipment? I have the Vert Stab Mark One. I yeah, have that's a good a idea. Medium caliber gun rammer. Yeah. And I have binos. Um, what's your base view range without binoculars? Because that would be. Ooh, that's a good question. Question. I don't know. Um, I have. How would I check that? Because with it, oh, it... what you do is you click on spotting, yeah, and take off your binoculars. Four sixty one is my view range now. Let me take. How do I? How do I delete the binos? Um, if you open up the equipment menu, demount. I think it should be around three hundred six. Three sixty eight. Three sixty eight okay. or four sixty one. So because I don't know tier 5 view range i would say binox is a reasonable starting point because you know red chaffee um 
we're not going to ever really be active scouting. So I think Binox is a really good, you know, it's a good equipment to start off with. We might change that to optics. That would be the only other thing I would consider. That's kind of where time. I was, yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering is if I put optics on there, it's now 405, right? Right. And like the thing is T67 drivers are going to outspot you all day long. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Well, and so, but I don't have camo or any of that stuff on here because I, I, I figured this was more of an active breakthrough vehicle, which is why I had the gun rammer and the um, gun lane drive or vert stab on there because I assumed that eventually I was going to try to um, take advantage of some sort of hole in a line somewhere, um, not sewer scouting, but like, you know, and, and so I wasn't sure that being passive was necessarily the way to go. But I understand. I, yeah, go ahead. I think that mentality is like it works on some maps, but mm -hmm. like when we play our Chaffee in game, there's it's, it's very rare that we're gonna YOLO into enemy lines. That would typically happen towards the end of a game where, you know, you kind of already know where most tanks are. Right. So that, that, that's like, what I meant. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean like in the beginning. I meant like the last third of the battle. Yeah, and so like I feel like optics. I don't know. I pers it's a playstyle preference. I think optics are okay. Personally, I'd rather have I'd rather be able to sit in a bush and get an extra twenty five percent boost when I'm trying to outspot someone who's maybe sniping and just have an extra ten percent at all times. It's not a bad choice, but like personally, I would go with Binox. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on then. All right. Fair enough. We can always change it. Like yep. the thing about optics is they work all the time, and that's. Right. I say that's where the advantage comes into optics. It's like it might actually get you more spawning damage to just have optics running all the time. But well, let's just. And then, uh, uh, yeah, my crew is bad in this. Um, I wonder if. Yeah, I can... that's the next thing. What what crew skills are you running? So right now, my commander's got sixty six percent mentor, and that's it. Oh, Ever. so we don't really have anywhere to go with your crew. Yeah. I would say leave it there. The Mentor is a good skill to have, because it, it will, like, Mentor is not a bad crew skill on tanks with no skills. Right. Like, that'll get everything up to 100%. Um, well, they're, then... they're they're all at 110, and, and, and I start with Mentor, and then I switch it out to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, six, cents. six Cents. But I Wait. can put Six Cents on there now. With a directive. I would say run that because we are trying to mark this tank. Like it's worth it. You probably don't really spend your directives on much else anyways. Only like, only on the tanks that I'm trying to complete missions with. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it's on so I've got the six cent directive now. Okay. I would say that's, you know, good enough. There's not much more we can do from no. a setup perspective. Um You have camo, right? On your vehicle, like camo paint? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Because with camo, it's like, um, one thing to know if you're trying to play a scout, it's really good just to memorize what your camouflage is. Yeah. Because, um, like, for example, in this tank, it's basically 20%. Yeah, 18.61. So if you're fighting some, right. And so if you're fighting someone with a 400 meter zoo range, they'll spot you at, what is it, 360 meters plus... It's 320 meters, basically, is what they'll spot you at. One eternity later. Yeah, you did. No oh, shit. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. No, I didn't. Oh, 306. Yeah, okay. Not by Still. much. <laughs> All right. This this tank is ugly. The Chaffee? Yeah, right tonight so far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, dirty. It's <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. I guess that's how it goes. Whenever I immediately try to do well in a tank, it's like more mm. gaming gets just bad. Matching. Oh yeah, it totally. So tonight it was really earlier. I had to do the heavy tank mission where you have to ram somebody and kill them. Oh boy. It's like tier uh, uh, mission eight, nine, or whatever. Yeah. And I took the uh, KV eighty five with a derp. I hit this <laughs> guy. I took him down to three hit points. And I told everybody on the team, I'm like, do not shoot that motherfucker. I'm going to go ram him. And I, did, and I did, and I did, and I won the mission. It was hilarious. I like, I hit him for everything he had down to three hit points, and I'm like, that is my boy. <laughs> and I crushed him. Jesus. <laughs> three hours later.
This is just fucking crushing my win rate tonight. Third Playing play. with me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Canadian. Victories, zero. Okay. Oh my god, my win rate's at 41% tonight. Alright, let's try again. I'll see if I can do something. <laughs> oh, hang on, stop, stop, not ready, not ready, not ready. Shit. Okay. Let me, uh, let me put, um, six cents on this thing. And I did want to mention, your mark of excellence has already gone up, like, 5%. No, that's not possible. I'm going to lose the one that I have because we're playing so bad. <laughs> it. So It's literally <coughs> up to 60. Like, it's gone up despite the session. That's funny. So, okay. okay. <laughs> one of the only maps where we can scout on, we're yeah. on the wrong side. Yeah, we are so, on the wrong side. Um, what you could try doing, and I would say you shouldn't do this one. Yeah, we should do this. Because you could, if you needed a scouting mission, D7 bush works great. But we don't need a scouting mission, so it's not worth the risk. I think we should just kind of play the hill and right. shoot people on the hill and then fall back. No, we're quick enough. To Get their Cromwells. spot and then haul ass, because there's two yeah. artillery. And there's two Cromwells. Like, if they didn't have the Cromwells, I would say let's play on this ridge, and because we'll beat everyone on their team. But the Cromwell's just as fast as, as us. Yeah. Yep. So we can, you know, he'll just he'll just YOLO us and we can't do anything. Um, one of the things that does happen on this, I don't know if you've noticed this, but heavies always sit back here. Yeah. Yeah, and so we have to watch out for that if we're going to play the hill for any extended period of time. Like, let's just say their Cromwells don't go hill and we can stay there. We have to watch for our team and make sure they're supporting us. Uh, Cromwell just got a kill. Okay. Do you do you go the ridge line or do you go low? I was going the ridge line to see if I could shoot at these guys, and I can go the ridge line because we're in lights. We're not going to get spotted yet, and like, and I can just move over. I got you. Such a mobile tank, it's fine. Now, here, let's play the windmill, but reverse up to it. Yeah. Once again. So we can just kind of, you know, I'm expecting to shoot at a Cromwell who's going to drive into us and give us a free shot. Okay, so there's no Cromwell. Did you see how I'm just reversing? It's just to see if anyone's here. Cromwell's not on the hill. I would be more aggressive here and just kind of start looking for shots on the Jacks. Because we don't have to worry about them anymore. None of their team, except for him, is really coming over here. They're really slow. Okay, I'm going to join you. Good job. When you have a set, make sure you check to see if we have support. Yep. Do you think we can stay here? For for the moment, yes. Beyond okay. next 30 seconds, no. Okay, so my advice would be hug this building with me so you don't get already. This is going to get you already safe, and it's going to make it easier for you to brawl against these players. So right next to the other. All right, so we have, a, we have a Firefly joining us now. Exactly. And so we're going to use the, the Firefly as a bit of a meat shield. Yep. He's going to take hits, and then we can cut him up. Poke out and shoot if we want to. I don't think we're going to really shoot people here. Unless they're going to be open. So, what do you do? Just make sure you look straight. Don't try to be so far. No, I'm out of here. It's too late. We gotta go. Uh, no, just sit here. We're fine. Okay. And, see how the KV-220 is looking to the... When he turns his turret poke on him. Oh, he's super good. You're getting shot at by already. Okay, no. let's see now. Dude. They've hit me three times. Sorry, that's fine. Sorry. Right. It's super hectic. I'm gonna stick around. I'm okay with this. This is this is much better than where we were. Yeah, and I have shots in the rear of I'm gonna kill the KV 220. And then from here, I think we have to focus on this. How do we win this? Because I actually want to win today. 
then you need to ignore me and just go do your thing. Um, I would say we can both sit on this ridge, and from this ridge we'll have shots on everyone who gets spawned here. And we want those people dead, so that'll help us win the game. Okay, now if you looked at the map, do we have to deal with anything? That guy. Yeah. Uh, better. Well, we the, the TDs in the woods are going to be the next big thing. It, what about it, our base? Our base is okay right now. Well, no, that's a good point. That's thank you. Very good point. Yeah. No Let's, problem. I think we so I think we've won, but we can get damage on these players. Roger. So it's not really a winning play to go fight these players, but I think it will give us more damage than, like, YOLOing down this. Yes, I agree with that. Okay. The second guy, the Cromwell, didn't show up when I first was looking at it, and then right as I was like, we're fine, then he showed up, and I was, okay, cool. <laughs> Is it possible that you don't have the max radio? Oh, that's Let's possible. See. Yeah, that's possible. Okay. There's a... I would just stop in the middle of the open and shoot this guy. Oh, fuck me. It's okay. Let's go fight. Let's spotted. Go nope, I got yeah. spotted by the VK. Do you know where he was? Probably on these buildings? I just want to show you how I fight someone who's in the VK's position. That's, that's where the VK was. Okay, so you can drive up like this. Oh no, this. He, no he's, he's in front. Sorry, yep. he was closer. That's okay. That was the angle, but it wasn't the distance. Right. Do you think I should move from here, or how do you think I should? No, I, I think you're. Move? I think you're okay. What's the What's the the left side guy? Does he have angle on you, or is that bush and hill in the way? I think the bush and hill are slightly in the way. Yeah, that's a good question. If you I pushed think... out to the right, if you pushed out to the right, so long as you were still in viewing distance, you'd probably be okay. Like this? Yeah. Okay. And then who do you think's on cap right here? The. Uh, the VK. Yeah, for sure. And should I spot him? Um. Well, you still have two artillery, so yeah, I think you should. I agree. And, and I mean, they're like, up on I'm the hill. to mark this tank, and we're yeah. gonna win anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think you want to get all the way up to like um, here if you can. Interesting, because I was just gonna. They could be. The thing is, he's gonna be in those bushes probably. There's a I guy. Yeah, but the Cromwell can shoot you from there. I, I agree. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, I just wanted to light him and hope Artie could get spotted. Like, it was just YOLOing in to get spotting before the end. Yeah, we were we were winning Yes. enough that it wouldn't matter, but the right. Cromwell would have had shots on you. Yeah, but... and I just kind of took the gamble. You know, because even if the Cromwell shoots me, he gets spotted, Artie might shoot him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, two, with two Artie left alive. Absolutely. I had a 2,000 artillery damage game today, and we lost. <sighs> Jesus. Which which already? My uh, uh, GW Panther. Is that right? Dude, that's ridiculous in a GW. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it, was a, it was a heartbreaking game. Holy shit. It oh, um, was so bad. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. Are you still no, here? Don't worry about it. I'm back, too. Do you okay. want to give... Let's play one more game. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... All right. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I'm not ready. Sure. No problem. I need to put the six cents back on there. Honestly, I should probably run that too. <laughs> okay. If there's actually, an, do you know there's an auto supply? Yeah. In the I bottom? just, I don't want to use it because, uh, I want to save what I do have for the missions as opposed to just assuming that I can use it every time. That's all. Fair, fair enough. Okay, so 
I think for this game, I'm just going to approach it calm. It's hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm prepping myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm still loading in. Give me a sec. Yep. I'm loaded in. I would say um, because what you could do on this map is you could tell Artie to pre-aim here. And you could go to E6 and spot. Now, I don't like that when they've got super quick lights, but in this case it's only a leopard and an ELC, so you could actually use your binox to active scout. Do you know the bush right here? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, use that I would, bush a lot. But we're so big. But here's the thing, we're such big tanks. Ah, uh, but the thing is, you also, like, you don't need to put your whole tank in the bush. Just your turret needs to be looking over the ridge, and you'll use the bush. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so go up to the... I will go there with you. I'll support you if you get rushed, but I just, you know, if we're both there, we're gonna get quick. It's not a good idea. There you go. And just sit there, and let your Binox activate. Perfect. And I actually have shots from here, so I'll try to help you out. I didn't know that. <laughs> Incredible. So that's kind of what I think is a great... Now, are you spotted? Not yet. Okay, I would say the second you get lit, you fall back. And I would say soon you're gonna fall back anyways. Okay, fall back now, and just get out of it. Because if you get spotted... Okay. I don't necessarily... Basically, the risk is that TDs are now here, so if you got spotted, you'll get shot from yep. G3. Yep. Perfect. So from here, we know there's a KV-85 on the zero line. We don't have much more information. So as a light tank driver, I think what you want to do is you take a tank destroyer supportive position. Just kind of look for safe shots on people for the rest very, of the game. Very circumspect. Yeah, exactly. I think that means around. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? A circumspect is cautious. It's, it's almost like cautiously optimistic. It's it's we're gonna we're gonna just stand back and just see what happens kind of sure. thing. Right. Ooh, okay. that was good hit. Yeah, and I can shoot the eighty five from here. So this is it. Okay. So, All right. So wh why did you choose that as the spot? Oh. Okay. If you come down to where I am, like just yep. come here, you'll see what happens is we have better shots. It's just simply a matter of better shots. Like, is this gun depression shots? These are, yeah. And what I would say is, I don't know if you're using bushes maximally here. Just come to the left a bit more, and it'll be safer. And we just kind of wait here. This position's good to shoot at people pushing it. Now, right now, we don't need to wait here anymore. We've won this side of the map pretty much. And so we can join and push up and get damage. But it's even. The other side is going to get rolled over, I think. Uh, the one line you're saying. Yeah, I don't want to overextend. And maybe I'm wrong. Tell me your thoughts. But okay, there's the Jackson. Yeah. So these tanks are one shots. So I'd say we've definitely won this side. I don't know what's going to happen on the other side of the map. Let's just kind of wait for Jack. Where are you? Okay, I see. Perfect. Now, I think what we don't want to do is right. We don't want to push through the K line and flank them just yet because it's way too early, and they're going to have a lot of life. But what we can do is we can flank this 34. Um, that Jake. A Panther's gonna draw his attention, and we can shoot at the 34 in the side. Yeah, and I just stay at the and you can shoot him, and that's all you have to do. So he's dead, and now the game's close. So, from my perspective, have they got an unspotted KB3? Or is that me? Yeah, they literally have an unspotted KB3. Yeah. So we should go... Where, you, where do you think that KB3 is? I think he's, yeah, I think he's in the back. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, he just killed someone? So I think he's on the one line, but we don't want to go blindly pushing in there. We'll get one shot. In my case, I can bounce off and miss him. Okay. Where do you... I'd say we have to go... Like, I don't think we... I would let you make the decision, but we no, don't No, I don't, I don't want to go... I don't want to go down, like, the JK line area. I want to go back to... Yeah. Uh... Okay. The problem is our team is doing it. Yeah. So, what we want to do is kind of shoot at... We want to support our team in this situation, even though they're making a bad play. I think it's a decent play to try to spot this ridge. 
Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. It's because our team is making a bad play. If they all die, we lose. Yep. And so I say, let's get under that ridge. And do you want to be the one who does it, or should oh I? Oh my god, I just pushed a tank. I didn't realize there was a dead tank right in front of me. Uh, no. no. Let's win the game. Sure. Okay, First and so foremost, let's win the game. Okay. What you should do is kind of sit on this church here, and I'll spot, because it's safe. Like, it, you know, I won't. I probably won't die if I spot. What and side I of the church? A... Left or right? Never mind. Just so you have shots on people like the Super Hellcat. Yeah. And then, because you don't have shots, I think you can stay there for a bit longer. I would say come up now. Yeah, because we know where the KB3 is. Okay. And then when you get here, you'll be in a really good position. I'll just wait. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, I'm gonna have us actually leave. We're gonna, if we do this, we'll lose. And the reason I decided that is look at the Tiger's HP. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's a one-shot. KB3's yep. gonna one-shot him. I don't want to risk dying. I think we can just fall back and play other angles. Like, we want to play vision games here. Um, yeah. Okay. What will happen is if we help that KB3, the T67 will kill us. So we can't risk that. Are you okay with me? Yeah, no, I think your position's actually really good. Otherwise, I would have said something. What I want to do is I want us to get up to here, though. Because they're going to push down the one line eventually. There you go. That's perfect. Okay, let's set a trap on the one line. So, there's a lot of thinking, and it's probably, like, kind of too fast-paced. But I nope, think I'm this good. TC... Okay. This 67 doesn't know we're on the one line. Roger. So, I think if we sit on the one line, the 67 might go for Artie or something stupid like that. And I just want to be, I want to take the risk and try to catch him out. Okay. And now from your perspective, I think it's reasonable to situate yourself with me. Um, or if you wanted to, you could always sit in A4. But these are, you know, I think with me is better because we're together. Roger. Okay. Now that you're up here... There you go. And I mean, Shit. knocking over that tree's not. Oh, no, I shouldn't action. have done it. Well, I think it's okay because what well, what might happen is the sixty seven might come up here, and you want more bushes to prevent you from getting spotted, right? No, I agree, but I was, I, I sh that's a big ass tree to knock over. Sure. Hopefully, the Artie didn't know this. I'm not dead yet, so no, he didn't. Right. Right. <laughs> Oh, one thing you do want to do here is turn your tank around. KV3. Okay, so here we don't shoot at him. We have to run. Or, actually, can you shoot at him now? I think we have to go for... We have to circle him if we want to damage him. Okay, so yeah, pull down, and we're going to use this mount to drive circles around. Him. So don't move. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? We want him to come low, yep. so we, it's like driving around a building, but there's a mound here, so it's harder. Um, fuck. I knew it. Okay, fall back. Use me for cover here. Can't. Oh, fuck. Here. Oh, I could reverse fast enough. I think. Yeah, that was still a really good effort. I thought that you played decently. It's just you know the last mistake there. Yep, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, and I mean it's really hard to. I think it might be really hard for you. To, the problem with the Chaffee is you're keeping up with me, and you know if I make a decision two seconds ahead of you, and normally it's like four. I'm like a hundred meters ahead of you. Yeah, that's true. The thing is so quick. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, but overall, I thought you did really well, and it was really good how you ran away from the KV3. Like they missed. He did. He missed. He fucking missed. That's yeah. It happened. Like he was clearly a bad player, but you did everything right there. I think so. Well, it's still not a good. This this tank is more difficult than one would think. And that's not just me. I mean, I've 
what they got twenty thousand games now. I mean, it's yeah, <laughs> it's a, it is a more difficult tank. Um, why is what is my win rate on this thing? It's not good, is it? It's fifty five percent, and it's still. I mean, that's just a well. Tank. So one of the reasons I chose the Chaffee is once you figure out how to play it, it's one of the easier three marks, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I think that's, um, so here's something to think about, and I don't know if this happens to you, but when, yeah. when I play, uh, and missions, I think missions are a horrible thing in the game. So that's a yeah. tangent, that's a tangent, the mission, the mission mindset, right? Like I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I have to do it in a heavy tank. I have to do this in a light tank. When you get in your mission mindset, you, everything else goes away and you end up having a worse series of games because you're in that mission mindset and right. so the other thing is like um when you play a certain tank for a certain period of time you end up playing the rest of your tanks as if you were playing that tank you've been playing for that series of games right so for me for example the kb5 the kv1 the kv1s whatever it is whatever those soviet tier like like tier five to seven heavies. Like I, I was playing those a lot and my crews mm -hmm. were all the same, right? So I used the same crew for like four tanks. Um, and so you get in the mindset of that, like derp gun, Russian slow, heavy thing. And you yeah. play that for 12 or 13 games in a night. And then you go to something else. It's a, a tank that requires a lot more finesse. That's a hard fucking thing to do. Yeah. No kidding. And that's the chaffy, right? Yeah. That's the chaffy. That's exactly right. The Chaffee is a finesse tank. Yeah. And I think, like, the T-49 is even more so, which is just a... With the derp gun and, oh my like, God. how twitchy it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love that tank, though. I mean, it's a frustrating vehicle, but, God, is it fun when you hit something. Right. Uh, are, so, are we done? Did we finish up tonight? Uh, yeah, I have to go eat with my... It's a family dinner this evening, which happens now, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I totally was okay with delaying that. I'm I'm so I'm so sorry about uh, running no, you behind I schedule. It. I I know that you probably didn't get anything out of this tonight. Um, no, I did. Okay. What, what do you mean, YouTube wise? Or... Yeah, YouTube wise. Yeah, so I'm okay playing the Chaffee on another day. I'll just wear yeah. basically the same clothing, and it'll work on a video. <laughs> I thought you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, um, I'll have to I'll have to make sure I wear the same shirt. I'm wearing a shirt that says Music Band on it uh i'll wear the same shirt again <laughs> next time you know i doubt most people will know any like it's just editing no one will no one cares even so yeah um i just you want you, I, I just want you to wear your girlfriend's sweater so that i can like point it out to people online and uh, make fun of me yeah exactly <laughs> okay i'll bring it next time <laughs> let me thanks man i appreciate it listen yeah uh i will see you next week well, it's a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to put a lot of the bits in there about how to set the vehicle up because I think it's important um, when you're starting up in some of the higher tier light tanks to make sure, you know, your vehicles are set up. It's a little different than you're doing at some of the lower tiers. So uh, we did not have a good session. We had a number of battles that we just we just couldn't couldn't do much with the teams. The teams melted. We chose the wrong side. Uh, I got killed. He got killed. We got one shot of our artillery. It was just a it was a very rough night. But um, I wanted to put these two battles up there just so you guys could kind of see the thought process behind this on a couple of maps. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know again it was a bit of a long video, but I am going to start doing the road to two marking and road to three marking because Lemming agrees we can probably get my vehicle up there. Um, and the more skills you get in a tank like this, which is a, a bigger scow, sort of light medium kind of vehicle, um, those lessons do apply as you get into higher tiers. So uh, if this was interesting to you, I appreciate you watching it. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I will be posting some more videos uh, where we are trying to get this chaffy up to two marks and then on the way to three marks. So that's where we are. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a great new year so far, and I will catch you guys on the next one.